Okay, so, um, so we gotta do the reaction to the Bone Docs, episode 5, the date with the health inspector. <coughs> so, without further ado, let's get to the video. I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your left from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that lets you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'm a remaining soldier till the war is won. Chop, chop, being sent to prison and anally raped. At the tender age of 10, Tom saw a prison movie which depicted the violent anal raping of a man. Before then, he didn't know the men got raped in prison. It is true that statistically speaking, if a man is to be raped, it'll most likely occur in prison. That fact scares straight-laced Tom even straighter. Let's steal some. Well, what if we get caught? We'll get arrested and anally raped. Hey guys, what are you doing? Just smoking a joint. Uh, you want a hit? Yeah, right. You guys can go to jail and get anally raped if you want. Oh. Tom, did you erase all my MP3s? Hey, file sharing is a crime, and I'm not going to be anally raped so you can listen to Usher. <sighs> You know, Tom, this whole anal rape thing is really causing both of us to miss out on a lot in life. But Jeez. Tom didn't care what he was missing out on. Well into adulthood, Tom still lived his life around the fear of anal rape. That fear, perhaps more than any other factor, made him the man he is today. Tom believed in order. He obeyed every traffic law. He had never as much as broken the speed limit. Oh. <laughs> Tom grew up to be a criminal prosecutor, which ironically enough meant his job was to send many black men to the very fate he most feared. For the crime of selling four bootleg copies of Soul Plane, the defendant is sentenced to two weeks imprisonment. He'll be remanded. No! Don't send me to prison, please! Please don't send me to prison! I don't want to be anally raped! And Tom please. knew firsthand that a black man didn't have Sheesh. to do much to go to prison. You have the That's right worse. to remain silent. Sometimes he didn't have to do anything at all. You in a court of law, you have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford. A and in other news, city police are reporting tonight that they have arrested a suspect in connection with the murder of Antoine Michaels, a 17-year-old who was apparently killed over a game of Madden 2006. The police are not releasing the name of the suspect, who is a black male, approximately blah, blah, blah. And so, we're raising the terror alert level to intense orange-red, based on very credible, detailed information on a non-specific threat. Could it be a hijacking? 
absolutely possible. Chemical or biological agent? You bet it could happen. Suicide bomber? Hey, you never know. But what we do know is that it's absolutely, positively gonna happen today. Maybe. playing your little game, and your friend was serving up some piping hot ass whoopings, wasn't he? <laughs> Jasmine, I just know. because That's your dad is late coming terrible. home from work doesn't mean it. Hello? Riley, is that you? Put your brother on, it's an emergency. What's the emergency? I'm in jail. <laughs> Dude, that is not funny. Don't drop soap. Who's that? Uh. Bro. Yeah? Riley, it's Tom! I thought you only get one phone call from Jill. Who's this? Huey! I got arrested! They say I fit the description. I think it's because I'm black, Huey. You have to get me out of here, Huey. You don't want to know what they'll do to me in jail. They'll rape you. That's what they're going to do. But you're not in jail. You're in holding. And I don't think people usually get raped in holding. Hold on. Granddad, do people get raped in holding? Dude, <laughs> stop, stop. I don't want your granddad to know. I don't want anybody to know. Listen, they can't keep people in holding over the weekend. At 9 o'clock tonight, they're going to put me on a bus and send me to real jail. Real jail. Earliest I could get out would be on Monday. Well, it's just a weekend. It only takes one night to get annually raped. Huey. The only way for me to get out of here is if you find the real killer tonight. The real killer? Nigga, I'm ten. How am I gonna find the real killer? <laughs> Please. You've gotta try. All right, all right, all right. Damn. <laughs> Thank you, Huey. <laughs> Whatever you do, <laughs> don't tell my baby Jasmine. I don't want her to know her daddy was somebody's bitch. <laughs> Nice. Was that daddy? Where is he? Is he okay? Was he kidnapped by terrorists? Um, your father wants you to know he's nobody's bitch. <laughs> Man, uh, that's, that's really fucked up. That's really fucked up. I had exactly five hours to find a murderer, Holy and damn. I couldn't do it alone. Ed the Third was heir to the Wensler fortune and a drunken psychopath. But the dude I was after had already killed at least one person. And one thing Ed the Third had was firepower. Holy shit, Fuck. no. I said we go get the motherfucker. <sighs> Let's go. Where are we going? Oh, we gonna need to holler at my man. Who the hell? Oh, snap. Ed wants letter third. My man, Jen Remy. What's good, baby? It's all good, man. I was just making some breakfast. Come on in. Sounds like you got yourself a fugitive of justice. I say y'all came to the right hombre. Look, we have exactly four hours and 45 minutes to find the Xbox killer. Can you help us do it? I'd be dead on his ass like Spencer for fucking hire. I hunt him down and feed him his own testicles. And I do it in a jiffy. And I don't care if it's mama the ass, grandmama, innocent bystanders, little kids, babysitters, bill collectors, whatever. I leave his whole block filled with hot grass if I have to. And you know why? Because I just don't give a fuck. Y'all sure you don't want no breakfast? I got English muffins and peach jelly. See? I told you my boy was gangster. Hey, Damn. man, put some links with them grits, Remy. Shit, I'm hungry as a motherfucker. Damn, this dude's crazy. Hey, that's enough. Go cool off. All right. 
Because, you know, shit, I'm looking at the eyes. The eyes can be pretty. And I take that carpet off, and then I got a tragedy. Well, no, we ain't fine. But I always say the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. What? Simply because you don't have evidence that something does exist does not mean that you have evidence that something doesn't exist. What? What country you from? Oh, shit. What? what ain't no country I ever heard of. They no, speak this English is where the part is from Pulp Fiction. What? English motherfucker, do you speak it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you understand the words I'm saying to you? Yeah. Well, what I'm saying Jeez. is that there are known knowns and that there are known unknowns, but there's also unknown unknowns. Things we don't know that we don't know. What? Say what again? Say what again? Oh. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more time. Damn, that guy. Damn, Willow won't play around well, like that. This is the so apartment don't mess building where it all happened. So Maybe someone saw Willow. something. Oh, somebody saw something all right. Oh, hell hey, no. slow down. We gotta be tactful. Tactful? What that mean? He talking about diplomacy. I don't do diplomacy.
Watch my back. I got your front. Hey, the Rami, my close friends and allies. It is good to see you. Go put that in the truck. Hey, slow your roll, Chief. You guys have to pay first. Damn, chill out, Aladdin Hussein. You know I'm good for it. Hey, guys, you know the rules. No exceptions. Cash only. Sheesh. Look, he got a weapon. Oh. oh, wait a minute now. Put the gun down. Gun? What gun? I'm not holding gun. Guys, it's me, Ed. Your father helped me build this store. I don't know you, motherfucker. Now! Oh my Put god. Put down no. the weapon. Put it down. There is no weapon. Look. Drop the weapon. I, I, I don't see a weapon. There is no weapon. They're robbing the store. I am not holding a weapon. I am not holding a weapon. Officer, this motherfucker got a gun pointed at you. You want to die? What? Do you want to die? I, I don't want to die. He does not have a gun. He does have a gun, officer. Trust me. The absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. I don't see a gun! Man, fuck this shit. Whose side you on? Mine or this motherfucker who's obviously of terrorist descent? Wait! I think I can see the gun now! Good! Now we all see the weapon! Now you hand over that weapon on the count of three, or I swear to almighty God, I'll blow your fucking head off! One! I can't give you a weapon I'm not holding! You thinking of the Korean chop? North of here! Two! Is he... Still holding it? He is not holding a weapon! Time's up! No, No. Fuck that. No. No. That is where that's where like a shootout like that could happen. That's like, okay, that is where the part when I was playing Saints Row 2, that's where the shootout in the shopping mall started, with the Sons of Sandy and the Saints. I think that's what. Yeah, so, something like that, probably not. I think they're actually shooting back at us. Well, of course they're shooting back at us. You're robbing their store. You can't assume that people are going to shoot back at you. Need I remind you that this has nothing to do with our original plan? Damn it, Ewan. Robbery etiquette says you can't criticize a robbery plan during the actual robbery. You have to wait till the robbery's over. Yo, officer. Wh whatever your name is. My name's Frank. Okay, friends. Whatever. I want you to know you are not going to die. In vain. I don't think I'm dying. Oh. Well, I want you to know you wasn't mortally wounded in vain. Actually, I think I'm gonna make it. You hear that, you sweaty bastard? Freddy ain't dead. Freddy say, bring it on, bitch. Bring it! Yeah. Jeez. Today, we all came face to face with our worst fears. And sometimes, there's no such thing as a happy ending. And there seems to be a gun battle with terrorists right behind me as we speak. Thomas Dubois, it's time. Is that the bus that's gonna take me to real butt-pounding jail? No bus. You're free to go. The Xbox killer struck again, less than an hour after we got to the Mini Mart. If we had gone straight to his house, we could have prevented it. But at least Tom seemed to have dodged a bullet.
War Heroes. Man, that was totally fucked up. But, hope y'all enjoyed the video, but I'll do more Boondocks reactions soon. And, but till then, peace out.